The book of Jeremiah is the longest book in the Bible, actually containing more Hebrew words than any other book. Most of Jeremiah's writing is in the style of poetic repetition that would become the hallmark of the book. It's also interesting to note that unlike Ezekiel, for example, Jeremiah is not arranged chronologically, but thematically. Chapters 7 through 10 of the book of Jeremiah are known as the temple messages. They're part of a passage where God is speaking through Jeremiah as his prophet and detailing warnings to Judah. Today's reading, chapter 9, is part of these passages, but also contains beautiful poetic prose and several memorable passages. Verses 23 through 24 read, Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches, but let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. I think it's passages like these two verses that show us the true heart of God. It is easy to get caught up in the intense language of the rebuke and the warning that seems to be the overarching theme of the book of Jeremiah. In fact, it can be overwhelming and disheartening to read the warnings that God gives through his prophet Jeremiah. God uses descriptive language throughout chapter 9, such as women teach your daughters to wail, which we see in verse 20. And the days are coming when I will punish all who are circumcised in flesh only. How are we, the reader, to contrast the tone that shifts seamlessly from righteous rebuke to unconditional love? The simple answer is that they are one and the same. God loves his people and his warning is coming from a place of love. God is sharing a harsh truth with his children that is coming from a place of paternal spirit a place of love, a desire that his children would forsake their sinful ways, which will destroy them, and turn to righteousness, which will put them in right relationship with him. This is what God ultimately desires. He desires a relationship with us. He desires our heart. He desires our devotion. God is a jealous God. Discipline is an example of love. It's a manifestation of love to expect boundaries from our own destructive desires. God is conveying this loving discipline because he ultimately knows what is best for us, just like any good father would do for his own children. So as you read through chapter nine of the book of Jeremiah today, try to imagine God's position for what he ultimately is in our lives, a loving father.